सो हेलो एवरीबडी वेलकम टू आवर चैनल माय नेम इज संदीप ही इज नील पाटिल एंड टुडे आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम ही इज आवर मास्टर स्टडी इन स्ट्रक्चरल इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट ही इज फ्रॉम मुंबई Uh, he has done the btech from mumbai and uh, pursuing the master study in structural engineering in our company and uh, uh, at the same time uh, after few months he is planning to go to new york all, i think already all the formalities and everything yes. is over uh, but currently he is having a laptop which is basically the mac operating system laptop okay so m1 uh, you know the m series M1, M1 Pro, M1 Max. Now I think M2, M2 Pro, M2 Max operating systems, uh, iOS operating system, as well as the uh, M uh, processor. Uh, because previously, what has happened is like uh, they were using the uh, you know the Windows uh, uh, operating system on uh, Intel-based uh, uh, processors, which was running perfectly fine, uh, but. there was certain issues because uh, when the m1 and m2 pro all this kind of chips has come because uh, how the structural softwares would work or the project management tools will work in this uh, software so so many people they have asked us uh, this doubt um, so this is his machine and he is using since last 3 months so how it has been started uh, uh, to use this kind of things actually so let's get started yes so Fine. So this is the main window in which uh, uh, you know you will see that uh, there is a, the, the Mac operating system, uh, and he has installed the window uh, uh, this Parallels. Uh, this is the Parallel systems. Uh, I think this comes up with some six thousand rupees. Yeah. Per, uh, yeah. If you are a student, uh, there is a basic subscription fee of six uh, thousand. and if you are a business professional then the amount uh, goes around 10 to 12000 a yearly subscription it allows you to run any uh, arm based softwares windows linux uh, etc on a uh, mac operating systems okay. with m1 m1 silicon chips m1 silicon yes. chips so if you can just give a demo to our people that how yes. you can you are using this Yes. Uh, because we are using particularly the windows operating system and he is using the mac operating system so if you can just help us in understanding so basically uh, j we just install uh, the windows 11 which is uh, the latest version okay uh, so here uh, we can see the e tabs is already working on this okay uh, so how many cores are there in this particular uh, thing and how the bifurcation and all actually have done basically uh, the parallels allows uh, you to uh, skip between 50 50 ratio so 50 will be accumulated by uh, the mac operating system and 50 will be given to the parallels or the windows operating system so that is the default and you yeah. you would suggest to keep that default system as it is Am yeah right? basically uh, if you have the basic uh, mac processor uh, just like me it has 16 cores okay uh, so m1 chip pro so you have to give 8 and 8 to both the parties okay so that is recommended but if you have 32 then you can give more according to the requirement okay uh, now latest uh, uh, you know m2 max uh, uh, yeah. that processor has come where the number of cores are little more so do you recommend that uh, 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 processor to our users those who wanted to use the structural uh, softwares or the civil engineering softwares instead of going for uh, maybe m1 or m2 pro yes uh, basically sir uh, as year improves the um, processor is also uh, improve okay. so i will recommend that but uh, if you are a core user then i guess means if you are not into max then you should prefer i think windows okay oh. uh, uh, i mean instead of going through the uh, uh, ios operating yes. system directly you switch over to the windows yes. operating system uh, that is what you are saying yeah, yes. okay okay so uh, th this is one of the very important thing so those people who really want to use the windows as a main operating system and uh, structural engineering software to the core and all go through the windows operating system only 
but at the same time the people who really wanted to use the uh, other uh, softwares which are there into the um, IS operating system um, um, like for example uh, uh, parallel to the Premiere Pro there are certain other softwares are there which are the video editing softwares uh, in the uh, IOS operating system. So you can use the IOS at the same time you can use the uh, Windows stuff also. So can you just give the demonstration of some structural how does it work and all actually. So basically uh, this is the uh, Windows operating software. Uh, okay. it, uh, it, it gives you a feeling that you are working on Windows only. So here you, you can see all the softwares are uh, working fun functionally. Here, here there are some projects which I have completed in my time being. Uh, this is also the uh, SAPE software. You can see that uh, means everything runs uh, presumably, but uh, basically the uh, one tense moment comes when you get uh, some high rise buildings. Okay. So it takes a more of time to process that kind of. Uh, okay. Since uh, the Windows uh, is working on basically the Mac operating system, yeah. so Mac is also consuming certain 50 percentage yes. of the resource and uh, Windows is also consuming 50 percentage yes. of the resource and at the same time on the 50 percentage of those resources you are running the heavy tools like you know high rise buildings of ETABS or yes. SAFE or something like that. So in that uh, you were saying that there is there are certain lags if the project size is quite big enough. Yes. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to ask you that uh, because there are so many people who are using basically the iOS uh, as a tool. If they go for uh, let's say uh, in the iOS which is Mac Pro or you know that kind of Mac Studio is also there. So in that case the number of cores are I mean quite, quite yeah, yes, big sir. numbers. So I think in that uh, area probably the issues will not happen. But particularly in the laptop uh, version, where the yes. number of cores are comparatively limited, that issue might happen. Yes. So uh, I would like to just give you a small uh, demo in which, uh, see here, uh, he is working on, shall I take this? Yes. Uh, one of the small project actually I would like to just show you, in which uh, this is the assignment number one. He has used the cracked uh, strength. So as, as you know, uh, most of the structural engineers, there are three types of models. One is uncracked, service cracked, and the strength crack. And uh, in that, uh, this is a strength crack uh, um, uh, file. Uh, you can see that this takes a little lagginess. That yeah. is what you are talking about. Yes. Okay. So in this case, uh, if you want to see the deflection view and all, actually, you can see that over here. So graphic and all, I don't think there would be an issue, I guess. So it is pretty, um, I mean, the very clear, the, the kind of glare and the yeah. uh, visual aspects are fine with it, I guess. This, uh, after uh, uh, analyzing, mm -hmm. uh, this only the, uh, some parts are there where it takes a lot of time to process. Okay, okay. Once this is processed, it will uh, move smo smoothly. Smoothly, yes. okay. okay. So initial processing, since it is 50% of the entire laptop or desktop uh, iOS uh, resources it is using, that's why it will take uh, initially some time to get on with it. The moment it has started, then it, it is pretty smooth yes, enough. Yes, yeah. So it is like this. So I think, but this is the case in the Windows also. Okay. Yeah, correct. No? So uh, apart from that, if you want to see the results and all actually, let's say over here, some display and other things. Mm, let's say I wanted to see some uh, base reactions and the modal cases and all actually. So you can easily get those results over here. So other other things are pretty okay. So easily you can you know save this or you know export or do whatever you want to do here actually. Like from here if you want to do the export uh, to the Excel and all. So it is it is just like you know the other windows, am I right? So here you can see that. So it's... Yes. 
you need to get to used to this actually because uh, the people who are using basically the Windows as operating system, uh, initially it will be a little bit time yes. taking, but uh, once you are getting used to it, then it will be yes. okay. Uh, but I think as as Windows it gets completely hanged or something or you need to press Control Alt Delete or that kind of problems no, will not be No, that problems there. I have not. Faced. Yeah, yes. Another thing is probably the virus related issues also you might not have faced. No, no. Right? Uh, if you are using uh, means uh, Windows which is uh, which is activated with the license key, then there will be no license issue. But okay. if you are activating using pirated softwares or some softwares. There is a certain issue, but yes. it will affect only the files which are related to your Windows. Your Mac will be safe. Yes, Mac will be intact. So we would suggest everybody that if you really wanted to use uh, uh, the Windows, you use the licensed yes. uh, uh, copy or something like that. Uh, uh, another thing is, let's say this is a safe software, which is basically for the foundation thing. And here also you will see that uh, if I wanted to show the deflection shape or something like this, you know, you can easily, you know, manure and uh, get uh, the, the deflection shape and all actually like this. Alright, so apart from this, uh, eTabs and Safe, we have seen what are the other softwares that you, uh, uh, you, uh, you have used it. Sir, I have used uh, AutoCAD, basically it runs. Okay, okay. So can you please help us in getting that? Okay, so AutoCAD and all other softwares, I think most of the people, CSI Bridge also, I think yes. you, uh, you would have used it. Then uh, um, SAP 2000 also. Yes. yes. So shall I close the others because it will again consume you know, so many resources. So this is, this is a CSI bridge software, so bridge designing. So along with the Windows Parallels and with iOS system, uh, most of the, uh, I mean, the softwares that we have tested are uh, uh, CSI bridge as well as safe, e-tabs. Uh, then, uh, um, have you seen the Bentley software? Also, it is working fine? Yes, sir. Uh, Bentley works. But I have certainly used the student license version. Okay. So the basic software I have not installed. Installed. No. Okay. So, but I, I think uh, if you are using the student, because currently you are also studying now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So since uh, 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 the uh, uh, it is uh, the student license version, it is uh, getting utilized and uh, it is perfectly okay. So I'm sure that you know the main uh, software also it would work. Definitely. Yes. Okay, so uh, one minute, I'll just close the unwanted uh, windows. So some softwares, particularly the uh, CSS softwares, take some time to start. And uh, once it starts, actually, it will be much faster for you guys. So I think the bridge is already yes. started. Yes, so this is a CSF bridge software in which, uh, you know, you can save a new file and other things. Yes, so here I'll just add a, one of the small bridge here. Let's say this one with the wizard which is here as a default template. So you can easily, you know, uh, add this particular file and uh, you know, from here you run the analysis. So I'll just create one uh, folder. Uh, files. Let's say bridge design. So I think the speed is also good enough. I have used this software um, in the Windows and all. Actually, the speed is comparatively similar kind of and the deflection shape and all also you can check it up from here. Uh, so in the design and all other things actually it can update and all but basically pretty okay analysis and all actually. So we'll just check the deflection diagram and all initially. I'll just draw the contours which are in the resultant forms.
so this is how it works now we will check the another uh, software now let us see the SAP 2000 how does it work here so yes there are certain limitations are there they are related to the speed and all I am sure that you know the M2 uh, or I think the upcoming M3 processor which mm -hmm. is based on the I think ARM chip 3 nanometer right yes. so probably that would be even the further more boost for all this yes uh, and I, I, I hope one day you know the iOS and uh, Windows actually mm -hmm. uh, the entire Windows operating system can be installed on this laptop mm -hmm. one day yes. like you know as per the previous yes, Intel based Intel. because in the Intel based uh, we were having that option right yes. that uh, you know you can uninstall the iOS operating system and you can have the yes. uh, just use the machine based on the Windows operating mm -hmm. system so somehow we do not have that option currently I think this is the reason that you are asked, promoting that Windows would be better right because every yes, time sir. for startup it takes quite a lot sir, of uh, some heavy software as we open the CSI bridge mm -hmm. and SAP it takes the, uh, some delay of time yeah but but I delete I have uh, you know the CSI bridge is what actually I closed it currently yes so, but still it takes a little time okay so this is how it is actually everything is there right in front of you guys so that's the reason most of the guys who really wanted to make a core uh, for learning and upgrading and all is okay but uh, those who really want to make the core uh, structural Sorry. engineering uh, a business job something like that then uh, preference you according to you yes. it is the windows based so from here i'll just uh, go to the add uh, new file in which uh, Okay, so this is the case. So, so let's say, for example, I wanted to design the dam, for example, here, or a retaining wall. So you can easily add this, and uh, you know you can um, start analyzing. Uh, I'll just store this files. the moment it starts actually it is much more faster yeah, it's quite faster yes only at the beginning it takes little yes. uh, time yes I think in some Windows laptop also it is the same situation yes okay I think the moment you start working on it you can I think uh, it's more uh, you will enjoy working it. Yes. Uh, only initially because since the resources are getting divided by Windows and uh, Mac only at the very beginning for maybe less than a minute you will struggle with the starting software yes. and all actually but the moment you know you start then it is much more faster Right, so this is how the overall, in general, the structural journey, how you can start with the Mac operating system. Okay, so thank you so much, Neil, for thank coming you. to our channel and giving this entire uh, brief of the uh, iOS system and structural engineering software on that. Thank you so much.